In Islam, dietary laws categorize food into halal and haram. Halal means permissible and haram means forbidden. Halal foods include clean fruits, vegetables, grains, fish, and meats from certain animals slaughtered in a specific manner, ensuring the animal is healthy, not tortured during the slaughtering process, and all blood is drained. While harem foods encompass animals that were considered unclean or unhealthy to eat, animals that were dead before slaughtering or improperly slaughtered, blood, alcohol, intoxicants, and carnivorous animals. These guidelines aim to ensure Muslims consume what is ethically, morally, and religiously clean and pure, focusing on both physical and spiritual health. In this video, we will discuss which animals are halal to eat and which are haram. Let's start. The Prophet said that ants are haram and should not be killed. Alpacas are halal and are categorized similarly to camels. Baboons are haram, as no sane person would want to eat them. Bats are haram. No more pandemic, please. Bears are haram because large fanged predators are prohibited from being eaten. Beavers are haram as they fall into the same category as rats. Bees are haram and it's forbidden to kill them. Most bugs, including beetles, are considered haram. Bison are halal, categorized similarly to cows. Boars are haram, falling into the same category as pigs. Buffaloes are halal and are classified in the same category as cows. Bulls are halal, being in the same category as cows. Camels are halal. What do you think the prophet ate? Cats are haram. Don't even think about it. Caterpillars are haram as they are considered filthy. Chameleons, like other lizards, are haram. Cheetahs are haram. How are you even going to catch it? Chickens are, of course, halal. Cicadas are haram as most bugs are. Clams are halal, though some debate their status. Cockroaches are haram, and eating one would be a dare. Cougars are haram. Yes, both, the big cat and the older woman. Cows are halal. Sorry, Indians. Crabs are halal, though their status is debated by some. Crocodiles are haram. You might die before you cook it. Crows are haram because they eat corpses. Deer are halal as herbivores are generally permissible. Dinosaurs are haram, unless you can time travel. Dogs are haram, just don't. Dolphins are halal, though there is some debate about this. Donkeys are haram, you are what you eat. Ducks are halal, sorry Donald. Eagles are haram as predatory carnivores. Elephants are haram due to their large tusks and ivories. Fish are generally halal. Flies are haram due to hygiene concerns. Foxes as predatory carnivores are haram. Frogs are haram as amphibians. Geckos being lizards are haram. Giraffes are halal as they are ruminants with cloven hooves. Goats are halal, also being ruminants with cloven hooves. Geese are halal and are among the permissible birds. Grasshoppers are halal and were even consumed by the prophet. Hedgehogs are haram, so Sonic is safe. Horses are halal, with special permission noted by the prophet. Hyenas are haram, though humans are halal to them. Jellyfish are halal, though their status is debated by some. Kangaroos are surprisingly halal. Komodo dragons are haram, and it would be insane to eat one. Lions are haram, just nope. Llamas are halal, falling into the same category as camels. 
Lobsters are halal, but their status is debated. Moles are haram and are categorized with rats. Monkeys are haram. Don't be crazy. Mussels are halal, though some debate this. Octopuses are halal, but their status is questioned by some. Ostriches are halal. Just be careful. Pandas are haram. They're too cute. Parrots are haram. Somehow falls into the same category as eagles. Peacocks are halal, but eating them is illegal in some countries. Penguins are halal, but you have so many choices. Why penguins? Pigs are haram. Too delicious, maybe. Pigeons are halal and considered permissible birds. Don't eat platypus. Pokemons are haram. Raccoons are haram. They are the guardians of the galaxy. Rabbits are halal, but please, you can still eat other animals. Rats are haram. Just no. Scorpions should not be eaten. Arachnids are haram. Seahorses are halal, though some debate this. Seals are haram, being carnivorous mammals. Sharks are haram, though some argue they are halal. Sheep are halal, falling into the same category as goats. Shrimps are halal, but some question this. Snails are harem, although some say they are halal. Snakes are harem, and capturing one could be dangerous. Spiders are harem, doesn't look appetizing. Starfish are halal, though their status is debated. Squids are halal, but some question this. Squirrels are harem, categorized as vermin. Storks are harem, but their status is debated. Swallows are halal and among the permissible birds. Tigers are harem. We are their food, not the other way around. Turkeys are definitely halal. Turtles are harem as they are reptiles. Urchins are halal, but some question this. Vultures are harem similar to crows because they eat corpses. Walruses are harem. Look at those fangs. Whales are halal, though some debate this. Wolves are harem and are in the same category as dogs. Zebras are halal. What a fancy food. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about the distinctions between halal and haram animals in Islam, give this video a like and subscribe for more. Drop your thoughts and any questions in the comments below.